I am Madison Timmons. I'm Chris Susi. And we're paranormal specialists who live in the most haunted city on earth, Savannah, Georgia. Every day is Halloween in our line of work, so join us as we spin true tales of haunts, murders, and disturbing Savannah history. I'm Madison. I'm Chris. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the most haunted city the, on earth. Bop, bop, boom. On the river. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of the most haunted city on earth. My name is Madison Timmons. Now I'm Chris Susie. And today we have Sushi Susie, which is Hi. baby Susie, if you will. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've heard many tales of young sushi. Yes. And the terror that... Sushi has brought to the world. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Solid. So they have decided to join us today uh, for a enthralling episode of From One to Wicked. Yes, thee shall ask and that oh. we shall provide, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> One to Wicked. <laughs> yeah, you guys, um, the para junkies, we had sent out a survey of, you know, trying to get a gauge on what it is that you guys are enjoying, what are you not enjoying, all that good stuff. And a large number of you were like, can we get more from One to Wicked? And like, absolutely, I am a researching nerd. So this well, is great. <laughs> um, so today's topic is going to be Devil's Pool in Queensland, Australia. Um, yes, haunted water. Woo-hoo. Uh, JT and I thought this would be appropriate since we're going up to Lake Lanier uh, to film Para Junkie exclusive episodes. So if you like haunted water, you should, <laughs> you should go over uh, to... Uh, Patreon and join us over there. Uh, but you should also join us for various other reasons. We've got... Yeah, it's not just haunted water. I mean, water. we've got all kinds <laughs> yeah. of stuff. We only do haunted water on <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> But yes, we have lots of fun stuff going on there. We have exclusive discords. We have fun people. We have haunted dogs. We have, Ooh. yes, my dog. It's, it's all there. It's all there. Everything you could ask for. Yes. Uh, so join us over there on the weird side and we can, we can further discuss all of the spookiness. We'll just like live stream a cup of water and be like, there's a ghost in there. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I want it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are some people that do believe that, you know, um, that water does contain, like, the devil or things like that, well, I and mean, you have to purify it. Isn't the, that why you were afraid of the toilet as a kid? Yeah, well, <laughs> that was Jin He, too. That was yeah. a very my, rude my, my sister told me in two different conversations. One time I, I went to my sister, and I was like, hey, where does the devil live? And my sister said, under the ground. And I'm like, got it. Good. Maybe a year later, I'm like, hey, where's the toilet go when you flush it? And she looks at me and she goes, under the ground. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's where There's the already devil something lives. there. And so I naturally assumed that the devil was where the toilet went. Like when you flush the toilet, it went straight into the devil's house. The sewer and, god. And the sound <laughs> of the toilet was the devil screaming. <laughs> And he was like, oh, Chris Susie! <laughs> because, you know, I was filling his house with, you know, poop. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that seemed reasonable to be really afraid. So I was afraid of the toilet until I was like 23 or 24. <laughs> wow. Um, I still don't have a, a solid joy of, 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 of the bathroom. At, and we've talked about this. He does keep a sword in the bathroom. Yes. We have talked about the bathroom sword. We have discussed sword. Chris's bathroom various sword. phobias. And the couch sword. Yeah, the couch, and the couch sword. sword. And... Do you have like a fridge sword or? Well, no, no, no I mean, because I the kitchen is full of knives. Of knives. Sure. Yeah, the kitchen is just full of knives. But, so. sword. but long knife, like, yeah, you long know, knife. yeah. <laughs> so. I do have abnormally long knives in the kitchen, which could be called swords, but why would you? <laughs> You're really setting the preface that it's like, if you come into my house, <laughs> just know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> there are many weapons. There are so many swords just all around. I think yes. I have a, a, a picture of my dog like lying with a sword like <laughs> that's adorable right out of and it's like oh you found a sword <laughs> good, good, boy. Good, good boy good boy good ranger yeah good Aww. ranger <laughs> 
But yes. Now, anyway, moving on. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> uh, past Chris's phobias, which we further and further dive into. I feel like it's a nice therapy <laughs> session every <laughs> single episode. We'll, we'll get to each phobia. Yes. Oh, um, mate, just wait until I become a regular. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now, um, before we get into our haunted pool, um, Sushi, do you have anything you'd like to plug or further discuss uh, what you do uh, so that oh, the people know who sure. you are? Well, I'm Sushi Susie. I'm a composer. I write music and I write musicals specifically. Um, right now, uh, my most recent musical that I've written, I performed it and filmed it and I put it on YouTube. So if you want to go watch that, you can check it out and you can follow him at the names underscore sushi on most platforms like Instagram and TikTok. But yeah. Cool. That's essentially it. And it's a horror musical. We yeah. should yeah. we should we should mention <laughs> it, it, that it isn't it isn't well, it's you more know comedy than it is horror, but it's kind of it's it's, it's like, influenced by it's, horror. It's Lovecraftian. Yes, it's Lovecraftian, but it's Directly like sticking inspired. it to Lovecraft because he was yeah. a horrible human being. Yeah, but a great you know <laughs> no myth, the, <laughs> mythical mythological. My thing, show so. would make him cry and throw up. <laughs> That's always a good thing. That's what yeah. we're looking yes. for. <laughs> so if you are a spooky thespian listening, uh, <laughs> go yeah. go listen to Rockabye. Yeah. Yes. So cast album coming coming uh, within soon. the next couple of months. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Well, there you go. So uh, yes, go follow Sushi on all the things and yeah. go get your fix of haunted. Musicals, I guess. Yeah, yep, that's a good way. Cosmic to eldritch Scary horror musical. musical. Yes. <laughs> so, still mostly a comedy, though. Still mostly a comedy, absolutely. You know, that's I the, just want to preface it with that. So, yeah, so you're not expecting. Yes. <laughs> don't don't expect to be afraid. I or promise anything. it is not very sophisticated. <laughs> don't expect squibs and no, no. all the things. But there's some a, a light gore, light yeah, gore, it's light very gore. Campy. tasteful yes. gore, tasteful gore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so into the devil's pool we go. Um, so. Basically, the Devil's Pool is located in Queensland, Australia. Chris, you said it's Victoria Falls, right? I thought that, so. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I think that's. Uh, I think it's the. Um, it's where the falls actually happen. Yes, like the, the Devil's Pool is on top, and then it pushes into the falls. Nice. I believe. I, I could be wrong. This is entirely... Right. <laughs> I did not do research, so I don't know. Well, um, so it's in North Queensland, and it's a spot that is deep in the Australian bush. Um, it has. It's where three streams among a group of boulders create a natural pool of water, Ooh. essentially. Sounds like a nice swimming hole, you would think. You would think. Um, and it's attractive to most people because the pools are cooler in temperature even in the summer months. So after you do a 1.3 kilometer uh, trek into the attraction uh, just south of Cairns, it's a, you know, oftentimes you're like, oh, a swim sounds refreshing, you know, especially because of how hot it is in Australia. It makes sense. So to tourists, it's known as the Babina or Babinda uh, boulders, but to locals, they refer to it as the Devil's Pool. And so according to local Aboriginal communities of Babinda, the Devil's Pool has a haunted history. They Ooh. fully believe this. Okay. So the story goes basically uh, that a beautiful young girl named Ulana from the Yid, uh, Yidinji tribe married a respected elder called Waruna, uh, excuse me for butchering this, Warunu. Uh, but shortly after they got married, another young suitor came into the picture. Oh. So this man uh, was from a different tribe, and he came into Aluna's life, or, or excuse me, Ulana's life, and they fell in love. So realizing that they were committing adultery, uh, they decided that they were going to run away from the tribes and they fled into the valleys. But they were very quickly caught uh, by the tribe elders, but Ulana got away from her captors and threw herself into the Babinda boulders, calling for her love, Diga, um, and she wanted him to follow her. But as Diga hit the waters, Ulana screamed and cried because her lost lover had been turned um, into... Uh, so basically, he fell into the water and suddenly the water became this rushing torrent of oh, sorts, whoa. even though it was perfectly still when he fell in. 
And it is said to be one of Australia's most haunted spots because it has claimed the lives of at least 19 people since 1959. Wow. So, um, according to Aboriginal legend, um, Ulana's spirit still guards the boulders and and calls um, to young men, essentially, who she believes is Diga, and she's calling to him. And so a lot of times you can hear her calling to Diga still around these boulders. Wow. So uh, a lot of the victims are recorded, and there are quite a few people that they believe, especially the Aboriginal people have claimed, have been killed there, Mm -hmm. but they're not recorded because, you know, it was a long time ago, and and, you know how things go. Sometimes things just don't get written down. But um, all but two of the known victims were killed, uh, that were killed at the popular tourist spot have been male. So... Uh, the other two, a lot of people think, were just victims of either coincidence or they were, um, you know, because they were associated with the people oh, sure. or the men. You know, they think that might be why they were killed. Uh, but it says that uh, Ulana lures people close to the waters, hoping that they are Diga. And the spot where the water foams is believed to be, or believed to be the most lethal during the wet season. But as Aboriginal elders will tell you, it can be dangerous all year round. So elders call the haunted spot the washing machine. There you go. <laughs> you know, I guess. It's pretty like, on the nose. It's yeah. pretty on the nose. Um, referring to the undercurrent that makes it near impossible for victims to swim to safety. So uh, one of the first victim, or actually one of the most recent victims, I should say, was a Brisbane father named Shannon Hoffman. He was 37 years old and became the pool's 19th victim on October 19th, 2020. Oh, I know. That's very, very recent. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and his body was found 20 or 200 meters from where he went swimming. Oh. Wow. Oh, yes. So he was just trying to, you know, do some fun social distance friendly right. sure. activities and he found himself the victim of a um, very disheartened spirit apparently um, but just seven months earlier though in April 2020 Madison Tam who was 18 went paddling in the pool and got sucked under the water into a chute that pulled her downstream to the depth of eight meters and her good body Lord. never resurfaced good lord God. I know <laughs> so that's that's frightening, uh, especially because, you know, it's it takes a lot for a shoot to happen. Like, sure. you know, it doesn't just like whirlpools don't just start from nothing. Right. And it's really odd that she was just, you know, able to paddle out there. And right. then all of and a sudden, sh- right. That feels paranormal to me in a way. But In 2008, a 23-year-old Tasmanian man named James Bennett was swimming in what his friends called uh, a calm water, but uh, but he was suddenly pulled backwards by an invisible force towards the rapids at the end of the pool. He also was never resurfaced. Good Lord. I know. (laughs) This is putting Lake uh, Lanier to shame, honestly. I know. Well, okay. (laughs) Um, allegedly he reached for a branch, which snapped, uh, before his head went under. Um, and it was Bennett's death that finally made authorities declare the site a no-go zone. So people were- Did it take <laughs> that long? <laughs> it says 59? <laughs> literally. People were quite literally just, they're like, ah, eh, people are just stupid. They can't swim. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it took a man being pulled by an unknown source in 2008 for them to be like, you know- Maybe maybe it's not a good idea to go into a water that the Aboriginal people literally tell you that's the devil's pool. Yeah, <laughs> so, whenever oh somebody God. attaches devil to whatever it is, you should pay a little attention You've, to it. You know, right? Even, Even if devil's you're not ham is a little questionable. Or religious or whatever, like there's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I, and that's interesting because water around the world is considered spiritually charged and spiritually active. And in, uh, in the Western world, we used to have to, you know, do all kinds of rituals and even sacrifices to build bridges for fear that the water spirits would knock them down. Right. So, you know, the, the concept of the danger of water has always been present and always been very, you know, in, in our, 
mean, the front of our minds when the ocean is. Well, yeah, Literally. you know, I'm not, I'm not going to cross that. Are you kidding me? It, plus, there are all the things in the ocean. Yeah. Right. You see a couple of those things, you're like, no, thank you. Yeah. The deeper you go, just the more horrific everything right, exactly. gets. Like, it's like the, oh gosh. The fact that like most of the ocean is like completely unexplored, I'm like, I don't think we need any more new species. Yeah. <laughs> right. You can stop it. Yeah, I they're think- like a oh, hundred new species a day or however many, and you're like, slow down. I don't <laughs> need to know. <laughs> slow your yes. roll. Let's just keep it with the cute dolphins right. and the <laughs> dolphins are evil though. They kind of are. Dolphins though. Dolphins are evil. They are so smart. It is just horrific at how intelligent they are. Like if you didn't know about the savanna dolphins, look it up. Just our dolphins are very frightening in my opinion, just because of the fact that they uh, have evolved yeah. to hunt on land. Yeah. <laughs> Did you yeah. not know this? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. They. Well, National Geographic actually did a whole like um, article on our dolphins because right. wow. they'll the, beach themselves too. <laughs> they, then, I think I saw something about that like in school when I was in like fifth yeah. grade. Yeah, yeah. They nudge fish like they yep. force fish to go onto land where That's they're incredible. dying, and they're like, "Great, now let's launch ourselves onto the land during low tide, right. eat the fish, and then squirm our way back oh. in." It is the most baffling thing. Dolphins are very frightening, but cute. Yes. And that is my side. It's only a matter of time before they learn how to like drive cars and right. like, come on up on land with spears and jab <laughs> us. Exactly. The dolphin revolution. Yeah, one day. Like, this have you podcast- seen the weird dolphins on land? <laughs> They're creepy. I think Jinji Ito wrote about that once. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, one day this podcast will be hosted by dolphins because we were taken <laughs> out by them. So they're like, they know too much. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my side tangent for the for the episode. <laughs> is look up Savannah dolphins. Just look up Savannah dolphins. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, so they ended up putting up a sign that says, "This creek has claimed many lives." Wet rocks are extremely slippery. Beware of rapidly rising water levels. Do not swim in Main Creek downstream at this point. And this creek or this track leads to lookouts only. For your safety, keep to walking track provided. That's a very long sign. And also, in my opinion, just saying, like, if I saw that sign, I'd be I like, dare you. I double dog right. dare you. Right. I'm like, I would well, just Well, also, I feel like there have there would probably be people who go there and be like, I'm not reading all of that. Let's go swimming. It, well, that's that's what Ulana wants you to think. Ah. She's, like, she's like, isn't this calm and nice? Mm, <laughs> oh. look, join me, join yes, me. Yes, how placid this beautiful watering hole is. Mm, she's Come, like, you're not my boy, crack. Literally. <laughs> And it's there is something endearing about you know her persistence. Uh, yes, you know, about, yes, it's a love that never ended. Yes, and it's you know, sad. I know it, it. It it's messed up, Ulana. You know, you shouldn't kill everybody. Maybe just maybe like, it's not her who's killing people. Maybe she's just looking for him. Could be the right? angry husband. Let's not forget Ooh. the angry husband, the one who was betrayed, okay. is yeah. probably where are they? Oh, there's a guy in the water. Bang! Right. Right, that's very well. I mean, true. what what killed the husband? Maybe there was something already there. Well, it well, he fell into him. calm water that turned very violent. Very violent. Right, so or it might be like some or it could have crazy been crazy water this, spirit. Yeah, the, exactly. the very thing she saw might have been the husband taking out the lover. Right, and it created the yeah, emotional he, turbulence. He so. was lurking under the water mm. with like a stick or something for a breath tube and he's just waiting. He's yeah. like, one day they have to bathe. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only way they could have come. <laughs> so He evolves and learns to breathe underwater. Or another theory is, is that maybe there were water spirits there oh, sure. and they were awakened yeah. by the adulterous Disturbed. nature right. sure. of, because you never know, some a lot of, you know, uh, It'd be interesting if water spirits cared about that adultery. Kind of thing. They were like, "Oh my God, that human is cheating on her husband. Let's kill her." <laughs> well, only the men. They only. And I've noticed this with many spirits we have talked about on this show. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, they hate cheating men or yeah. men who are involved in adultery. That makes sense. Yeah, it, it's been a very common uh, kind of theme we've found oh, absolutely. With them where they're yeah. like 
cut his head off yeah. or kill the kill, man. <laughs> just kill the men, which, you know, isn't always. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not condoning, you know. <laughs> I, I don't condone murder, I promise. I don't condone the murder of men. But, but if you're going to do it. Be a water spirit <laughs> <laughs> to make it entertaining at least. But they'll tell your story for centuries. Exactly. Um, so the Babinda court uh, records show 11 people died between 1959 and 1983. And although most reports suggest that it has been 19 fat- uh, fatalities since those records began, it is believed by many others. And like we said earlier, the Aboriginal people, uh, that others have tragically died there. And uh, there are old newspaper articles suggesting this as well. So we don't quite know how many people have been taken by the devil's pool. But um, according to an article in the Cairns Post, a man called, wait for this name, T. Winterbottom. <laughs> that is... T. Winterbottom. <laughs> That's a... Oi. That's a, that's a great a name. name. That's a great yeah. name. That's, that's, that's the hero of my children's book. <laughs> <laughs> Tay Winterbottom was swept away in the area in 1933. Oh. And the quote says, it is problematic as to where the uh, body can be as the first pool under the falls proper is of tremendous depth and perhaps the body may be lodged in crevices or caves which may exist beneath the water. A further search of the devil's pool will be made. Oh, I sure hope they are investigating this pool. But, you know, if I was a researcher, you couldn't pay me enough to go investigate the caves beneath this. I feel this. like we now have like water drones, you know, those little Yeah, I was going to say, right, like, maybe like just a remote stick control a big thing. Camera down there. Sacrifice and just the call camera. It a day. Like, yeah, put yeah. it, like, tape it to a stick and just be like, Kind of like those, um, you know, cameras they use when they're going to really deep depths of yeah. the ocean. Yeah, yeah exactly. Little, little submarine. And yeah. Little, yeah. Little, and they're like, if the controller. megalodon is down there, it'll eat this instead right. of us. Exactly. <laughs> so. we'll that, still get is it too much footage. to ask? <laughs> right. Send the camera, look around, bring it back. But it sounds to me like they're trying to send some people down there. And I'm like. Don't do that. Their desire for exploration. Right. So um, there are also reports that an eight-year-old boy called John Dominic um, English drowned in 1940. And Aboriginal locals say another young man vanished after he kicked a plaque commemorating the dead. Now well, that's just asking for it. <laughs> so, we shouldn't have to tell you, don't do that. Don't kick the plaque. Don't kick the plaque. <laughs> yeah. You know. The dead don't like it. Don't be that guy right (laughs) don't be that guy (laughs) yeah i mean that's i I, even though it's the 1940s even then we had an idea of metaphysical natures and also burial i would imagine that superstitions were a little stronger then yeah yeah. even stronger yeah he said to hell with this plaque i'm gonna go for a swim (laughs) now (laughs) dead no don't do that don't do it (laughs) oh no um yeah so it sounds like a lot of these people are ignoring signs, especially the ones who died in 2020, because that was uh, the sign was already there. Are you dumb? The sign was there. <laughs> Recent deaths, right? You know, somebody got pulled down and their bodies were never found. Somebody got pulled down and their body was never found. You know, and, and this can't be anything that's not even in the. If you even if you don't believe in ghosts. Believe in nature. Believe in death. Believe believe in whirlpools. Yeah, whirlpools, you know, uh, riptides. Yeah, riptides. You know. Exactly. We have that issue here on Tybee. People swim out just a certain distance and they can't get back to shore. And they're not that far away. But they're swimming their hardest just to get back to, you know, um, just to the beach. And I, I I can think of at least six instances in the last 20 years where we've lost people who swam out and couldn't swim back or simply the savannah river yeah you the know, savannah river don't go into the savannah river it's a bad idea yeah it's it's just it's a murky nuclear wasteland <laughs> well yes that i know someone who drowned in there yeah oh, lord yeah. Yeah. It's, it's 
terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It is. It's not a fun way to go. Uh, yeah. If the murkiness of the water isn't off-putting enough, and the dolphins aren't off-putting to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> then, <laughs> the murderous dolphins. Then maybe I think don't. someone should make a horror movie about dolphins. I think that would yeah. be really interesting. There has to be one already. It would already. be easy to do because they're scary. They're yes. terrifying. Does anybody remember that there were like six highly trained special forces Russian dolphins that escaped like... A Russian dolphin? Russian dolphin? <laughs> well, weaponized. They had weaponized weapons on them. Dolphins. When did this? That's amazing. I want to say I within mean, uh, around 2020. I, or uh, around this is that racist. Time. This is yeah. horrible. <laughs> it was within the last 10 years, I'm oh sure. Oh, my God. I, 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 and I'm pretty sure I wasn't a, a, a sci fi channel movie. But I, I never. I, it was I like thought six. I would hear the words "weaponized," highly dolphin trained in my weaponized life. dolphins <laughs> from Russia. From Russia, special forces dolphins. <laughs> I was totally expecting you to be like, "Yeah, you know, it was in the Soviet Union era." No, you know, no, it's, this it's, was recent. No, this was recent. God, wow. Um, even if you had even more reason to not go to Russia, yeah. don't go for the dolphins. Well, either. they're not there anymore. They're somewhere. Oh. We, I don't think we ever found them. Well, <laughs> splendid. They're, just, they're training other dolphins as we speak. That's horrible. <laughs> Our listeners are now <laughs> acquiring a newfound fear of dolphins, of dolphins from this episode. That's valid, though. Yes. Well, so my point being for the Savannah River, it kills people just because of the undercurrent. Yeah, the that undercurrent is, is insane. Yeah, because we've dredged it to like a really intense level that it has just if you get in there it's very unlikely that you're going to be found you know um, it's true. and a lot of times the people who fall into the river happen on St. Patrick's Day oh sure so if you're coming for St. Patrick's Day stay, stay away, away from, from the, the river from right. the edge <laughs> and it's not a high fence that no. they have no I mean, you're right there. Yeah, um, a lot of people sit on the thing that's supposed to keep you from going into the right. river. And if you're a little intoxicated, one too many wet willies, you know, that is, you are going to become a wet willy. You Have know? you ever been on River Street when the water level is right at the street? Yes. It's so scary. It's horrifying. Or when hurricanes come right. through, it is horrifying horrifying because all of river street becomes the savannah becomes river, the river. <laughs> a, a, a street under the river it's awful um so you know and that's a whole different episode we can talk <laughs> about of the haunted nature of the savannah river um but yes now back to what i was saying um do, 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 do. Uh, and there have been other uh, mysterious disappearances that are referred to by local elders but have no date attached to them. Um, but there, one in particular was a young couple that stood together on the rock platform admiring the view over Devil's Pool when, uh, according to one witness, without warning, the water suddenly rose, sweeping both into the water. And the girl was lucky to survive, but her male companion did not. Uh -huh. It sounds like she was spit out by the water spirits. <laughs> but <tui. laughs> yeah. Women don't want that. No. You know? Women are bad for you. you know, Join me. Right. Not you. Join or they're me. like trying to collect a certain amount of male souls. Well, or there's, it sounds like classic siren. You know, right. uh, you hear the voice, the, the water's alluring, the place, you know, is just saying, come yeah. with me. And a part of me wonders if Ulana was maybe a siren living amongst the Aboriginal people so that she That'd could. Be crazy. Right? And so that she could lure one of the men to start the chain reaction. Kind of like a selkie, is that what yeah, called? kind selkies. of. Ooh, selkies yeah. are such a cool concept. It's they a very, are. it's a, it's, it's constant. And we had talked about this before: the shape shifting, skin right. wearing, you know, the uh, and uh, selkies being that. That basically so cool. seals. Put on like a, you know, dolphin. sea lions that that can look like humans. <laughs> are you not a dolphin in a human suit? I'm not that terrible. Come on. <laughs> JT's gonna have to name this episode "Fear of Dolphins yeah. Unlocked." <laughs> Mm. Mm. Achievement, yes. achievement unlocked. <laughs> I'll just add that to my long list of phobias. Yes, a Dolphin. fear of dolphins. Um, but other more recent confirmed victims of the pool include a tourist from Adelaide in 2004, a Sydney businessman in 2006, and Peter McGann, who was 24, who drowned in the pool's chute. So again, another that person shoot. who was dragged into the chute. 
And this happened in 1979, unlike the woman who died in 2020 from the shoot. So this shoot has been around for quite a while. Well, you know, and I, I think what what what's happening is the pool is is created where a, a series of boulders have, you know, collided through, you know, plate tectonics or however these things happen. But there there are egresses, you know, holes. Um, they're not caves, I don't think. They're they're literally like just holes. Right. And and anytime there is a uh, a change of the pressure in the water, it will create a whirlpool. A suction. It'll just, yeah, just suck you right into it. So um, that's that's something to be afraid of in most bodies of water is you don't know the topography right. of, of the bed because if the bed has any fissures in it, it only takes a slight shift in pressure or a slight shift in current to create that vacuum, right. that vacuum effect. Or it's Ulana. The, or it's Ulana. <laughs> the size. <laughs> with, she has a massive straw, yeah. a man straw. Man straw. <laughs> Hashtag man straw. Yeah. Oh, just like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, mmm, a nice man milkshake. Nom, 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 nom. And, um... So as the Brisbane Times reported, he jumped across the short space between the rocks, slipped, and fell into the chute, and his body was also never recovered. So if Maybe you go they're into- all fine. Yeah, there's like a secret. They, they go down and now they live in another dimension. Maybe there's like Atlantis down there. Yeah, it's yeah. a portal. There's a shunk. Or That'd be awesome. That'd be silly. What's the, uh, what's the video a game? The uh, Bioshock, where it's like the, <laughs> it takes you to Bioshock, <laughs> and they all become Ugh. big daddies. Yeah, they have <laughs> to be big daddies. That's why they're only men. Yes. They, they get transferred into big daddies. And every once in a while, when the little sisters die, then they have to take a woman. So that's oh, yeah. why we have the two women. The two women. So there really, we've explained it in video game terms. And- yeah, well, there oh, you go. that's possible. Yeah. That yes. is a very we, we good point. We haven't even point. thought about that, and that is a very good point. So... Truly, spirits. The water spirits saw what was in their soul. Right. It's like, <laughs> yes. I understand. So yes. cool. ah, wow. <laughs> it's validating, but it hurts. <laughs> Down to Bioshock. <laughs> that, that is the uh, the the title of my new book. Validating, but it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> And at the time, um, a police diver, Peter Tibbs, told uh, ABC McGann's case with the mo- was the most interesting he had seen, having already been called on uh, three times to retrieve bodies from the pool. He did not find these bodies, so I guess maybe he was so intrigued by the stupidity. Maybe he's really bad at his job. Yeah, but yeah, maybe that's why they haven't found. <laughs> he's just like bodies. floating yes. around. He's like, eh. <laughs> You know how hard it is to pull a waterlogged body out of the water? He's like, eh, I'm not diving into no Bioshock <laughs> shoot. <laughs> he just grabs a foot and ties a rock to it and is like, oh, it's Ooh, unfound. It's I'm, never found it. I'm, or he, he really was afraid of, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's also valid. <laughs> yeah. Valid. And he was like, yeah, I just couldn't find it, you know. <laughs> He's like, another body? No, I'm not going in there. No. So he says, we thought we knew he was in there. <laughs> But but we couldn't get to the body because the water is so cold. Isn't that what wetsuits are for, Tibbs? But okay, you know. I think you're 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 asking a lot for for this police department. He's like, I <laughs> yeah. don't get paid enough. Yeah, he's like, wetsuit. We don't have the budget for a wetsuit. We only have one bullet. The six of us. <laughs> so, Every time we go on duty, we just hand the bullet over. Here you go. Just in I case. Think that would be a. It's a really ridiculous cop show. It would. A cop show about I, a precinct that only had one bullet. The precinct space. with one bullet. And, Just pass it around. And it's so deep and it's so fast. <laughs> He's telling it like it is. He's like, listen, I can't get down there. It's so deep and fast, guys. And cold. I can't do it. It's too cold. It's so cold, you guys. So, I just want to go home. Eight or ten times, we went down, and we eventually cut the logs out of the place underwater. And on the last day, after we'd almost given up, we cut the last log that was in the chute, and the body floated freely. Who's the body, Tim? McGann. Was that McGann? Well, that's what he said. It was the most interesting oh, case, right? I guess so. Well... They got McGann's body. Well, he apparently was recovered, so 
whoever not said alive that, not alive <laughs> but she had a very mild hallucination yeah. just now oh no it's not a hallucination <laughs> uh, you know when like the out of the corner of your eye yeah. you see yeah you just saw something like duck behind the door no you're more than likely seeing one of the, our our resident Little ghosts friends, yeah. yeah our friends here um you know, sidebar uh, for <laughs> one of our new ghosts who have joined us here in the building. I don't think we've talked about him yet, but he is the shadowy figure that likes to hang out in Demon House, uh, and he has red eyes. Oh no, that's never good. And he <laughs> stands in the corner and just watches people. You know, I think I would like to be friends. <laughs> with him. I mean, he's in there all the time. You know, I'm sure you could go have a nice conversation with have Mr. A nice red Eye. Chat. He was like, but I'm worried he'd follow me home. So, <laughs> you can take him if you want. Don't, you know, it's, don't do it. That's don't do why it. I said I'm worried. Ah, uh, well, you know, if anybody wants him, he's here. So, <laughs> <laughs> one red eye to pick up. Yes, one one red we eye have available. One red eye spirit to for adoption. Yes, but not Mothman. It's not Mothman. It's just, so his eyes are more orange. Yes, <laughs> and bigger. I think. Yeah, big, right. Big orange. He's, Big orange orbs. I think the concept of Mothman is very silly. I love Mothman. I He's like excellent. Him. Yeah. Yes. When we were talking to two girls, one ghost, I think they said they did a poll on which uh, a cryptid they would, uh, their v- listeners would want to date. And most people said Mothman. Mothman. Yeah. And that's, I agree. That's a good choice. Although, I completely yeah. concur. But, uh, what about like and, Ruggaroo? Or isn't that the one with like the jacked bodies? He's the jack head? body dog head. Yeah. Ruggaroo. So I, well, if you just, just put a bag just over the head. behind like, his ear. Yeah. What do you mean? It's a beautiful dog. Yeah, right. I, guess, I guess that's fair, but. Well. So well, back on to. Uh, that, yeah, well, into, I'm sorry. Like Nick from Zootopia. So. Well, uh, that's yeah. true as well. But regardless of the deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Tourists continue to visit the spot with TripAdvisor giving the area a solid 4.7 stars with a little green subnote telling you Babinda Boulders is open 24 hours with Devil's What? I know. <laughs> what? With Devil's Pool just a mere 10 minute walk away from the main camping and swimming area. And I think TripAdvisor is killing these people. <laughs> so TripAdvisor, you might have a lawsuit on your hands. You're, you're telling people. Well, I guess it's not that bad. If, if, it, if it has 4.7, that means that they, they only lost three points. Right. You know, or, th- or the ones who uh, died weren't able to make it to TripAdvisor to give them the scathing <laughs> review. But or they did, and that just brought it down 0.3 points. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh. So there's around 300 reviews on Devil's Pool, and a lot of them say it's a lovely spot and a magical place. Yeah, and, magical. Mm-hmm. And make w- sure was to there have a K in there. Magical. <laughs> right. <laughs> And make sure to take insect repellent. But there are also people on there saying, read the legend of the pool. (laughs) And it's beautiful, but dangerous. Beautiful, but dangerous. And don't swim in devil's pool. Yeah. And that's all I got for y'all on the devil's pool. Well, there you go. So I agree with the latter of the TripAdvisor reviewers. Uh, Don't go swimming in the devil's pool. I mean... You know, come on, y'all. Right, right. Go, go to Victoria Falls or yeah. whatever it is. Look at the scenery. Don't become a part of it. Well, in ten minutes away from the I mean, devil's barely, this right? Not like they were ever found, right? They didn't get to TripAdvisor, so they didn't you get know to it's TripAdvisor. <laughs> but you know, I'm sure, they would leave a scathing review. Absolutely, one star. It killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I was dragged under. I die. Literally. <laughs> If I could give this zero stars, I, I would. would. <laughs> but, you know, it's um, it's kind of fascinating that there is apparently a swimming pool, like a swimming hole, 10 minutes away yeah. from the devil's pool. And yet people are still going to the devil's pool. Like, this is not a, it's not the more optimal swimming hole, clearly. So I think, and because when you first said it, I... I, th- I think I'd heard of it. I'd heard that people die there. And I think it has an amazing view. Sure. I think the, the, the pool itself goes up against a fall. 
So you're like looking, you can get right up to the edge of the falls. I mean, that's what lures you in, I guess. Right. Well, then I think that's the, the yeah, the catch is um, if there's a strong current, it's pushing over a falls. You know, mm. <laughs> there's a reason the there, there are falls singing, there. It's beautiful right. scenery. It creates right. rapids. You know, all those jagged rocks, all the water pushing through, you get in the wrong spot, an undercurrent will grab you. The chute, apparently, is just out to get you, so Well, beware. I mean, and let's not negate that people have heard Ulana s- yeah. screaming and screaming crying. Screaming out the name. That's, that's, that's a big thing, yeah. too. That sounds like classic siren nature, but she's just chosen a less um, uh, oceanic territory. Well, and it, it raises that interesting question of are sirens, like, human souls that are crying out and, and become, mm. you know, is there an evolution to that spirit, to that, you know, cryptid, that creature where just the sorrow and the grief and the need, because when you think of, of, of sirens, it's always like on rocks that crash boats. Could it be women who lost their husbands, women who lost their lovers to the sea who, oh. you know, maybe flung themselves cool. into the sea or something like that. There's, there's a story worth examining is what are sirens? How did they come to be? Because there are... And also, aren't, like, the original sirens, like, actually birds? Those are harpies. Yeah. Because I, th- I thought that, like, the original story of, like, sirens were, like, half bird. No, it, well, it, 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 th- in the same story, that's, um, that's uh, the um, Odyssey. Um, is that the the sirens were calling them in, mm-hmm. and the harpies were coming and eating right. them? Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it gets a little muddy with. It gets all, pretty muddy with yeah. all the harpies and the selkies and the sirens. They all kind of. <laughs> they all kind of have the same niche, niche. if you will, man alluring, killing machines. Right. So. Yeah. The right. point being is there is a, sus- a suspected siren at the devil's <laughs> pool and the police will not go diving for these people. Well, apparently they did. I mean, they. I, I think that he, he was just complaining. He said it's cold. It's cold it's and the water's really pushing hard. And But apparently they did go down and move the logs. Right. And that's an interesting thing too because if if – if that is correct, things get pulled into the chute and stop the chute. Right. You know, so like uh, all the driftwood and everything is stopping the chute. They had to go down and pull the stuff out of the chute and they found the body. But in doing so, they exposed whatever was draining <laughs> and, yes. and, and making a dangerous situation for the next swimmer. So if you are one of our male presenting viewers, maybe... Maybe. Maybe just maybe. Perhaps. Don't go to the devil's pool and get sucked down by Ulana's man straw. D- don't go either way. <laughs> don't, don't go. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't go. take the risk. Don't go. Uh, um, you know, there are certain places in the world that you just understand, regardless of supernatural activity, don't go hiking in Death Valley. Yes. You know, or if you do, don't go far from your resources, your car with your drinks. You know, don't just go wandering off into Death Valley because it's called Death Valley for a reason. Yes. Don't go to the Devil's Canyon in Potosi, Bolivia. Don't go to the Devil's Pool in Australia. Don't. Listen to the native people. Listen to the native people. <laughs> the native people know. They observed and they said... Absolutely not. <laughs> that ain't the place. That's not it. That is not it. Go to the 10 uh, minute walk away. Right. So There's a perfectly fine swimming hole over there. Yes. Right. So um, I think we have cracked the case that it is Ulana's man straw sucking people down <laughs> into the Bioshock realm of the devil's pool. So, Where dolphins beat you. Yes. Mercilessly. Yeah, JT's going to have a fun time editing this one. <laughs> 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 But uh, if you enjoyed this one to, from One to Wicked, oh, oh we, we, we didn't even rate it. We didn't even okay. rate it. Okay, uh, Chris, how about you? Actually, Sushi, since you're our guest, how about you give us your rate? I'm gonna say six. That's a fair rating. Six, yeah. Yeah, I was somewhere in the five six area, mostly yeah. because the natural phenomenon of whirlpools and rapids and water that can very quickly overtake you is a big part of this story. Right. Um, right. So, you know, even, even with the added ghost story, it's like, well, th- there's a natural phenomenon at effect here that we are dealing with people who are being careless in treacherous 
you know, area. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, I don't think of it as, 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 as wicked as something coming after you. Yeah. It's right. really, you have to, you have to actually take an extra walk okay. to right. get there. I mean, I mean, technically like for this to happen to you, you just have to be like really, really freaking stupid. Yeah. So, so. Well, when there's a giant sign. Yeah. yeah. Has a long paragraph of don't, don't go, go in there for all of these reasons. They need to shorten the sign to people die here. <laughs> Quit. Yeah, stop. You will I be think, thwacked. I think uh, the, uh, it would work just as well if they said caution, don't swim. Right. Right. Like, I mean, that's never stopped anybody <laughs> either though. But you yeah. know what would probably stop people? Is if you put one of those like chemical signs, yes. you know, hazardous waste signs. Yeah. I think people showing up being like, oh, uh. <laughs> yes. I don't want to get some kind of mold on me. It's like, yeah, there's a demon in the water that's going right. to eat you. But yes, you're people right. People <laughs> are so much more deterred by like yeah. things that are gross than right. things that are actually <laughs> scary. Right. But um, I would agree. I'm going to give it a five um, just because not negating the natural elements that could be causing some of these deaths. But I'm convinced that it's Ulana. It's, it's a good yeah. story. Yeah. Ulana's a great story. And, yeah, and, and we do, we do you know, uh, prescribe stories to dangerous locations. Right. Oftentimes we use that in hopes that it would deter people. Yeah. From, I mean, that's the whole Big Bad Wolf story was we're going to deter kids from going off into the woods by saying there are big bad wolves. And it's like, I don't want to go in the woods. A big bad wolf's going to eat me. Or Stranger which in the woods danger. are going to eat me. Or Yeah, you know. Yeah. And so there's lots of stories where we, we, we create the Fairy scary tales thing. Fairy are scary, man. They're supposed to be. They're, they're supposed to keep you safe. They're supposed yeah. to keep you home. You're not supposed to wander off into the woods. You're not or supposed to eat other pool. people's houses. Yes. Well, don't eat people's houses. Don't eat other people's houses. Don't go in the Savannah River. Do don't, not go into the Savannah don't River. Don't go in the Devil's Pool. Don't and don't, so and never touch a dolphin. <laughs> never touch a dolphin. And don't eat people's houses. And don't eat people's houses. I cannot stress that enough. No matter how enticing the house looks, don't eat it. So with that, uh, thank you for listening to this From One to Wicked episode. Uh, If you have a wicked entity or wicked place you would like us to rate, go ahead and shoot it over to me because I will happily research it. So uh, definitely uh, do that. And we want to thank Sushi for coming on today. Maybe you'll be the guest for all From One to Wicked. Do you have fun input (laughs) into these? Yes. So, um, and if you want Sushi back, let us know. but uh, if you don't already follow us on social media, go ahead and follow us under Haunted City Podcasts on all platforms. Go ahead and check it out, us out on Patreon and become a para junkie and join that fun group of spooky peoples. And we'll see you in the next one. So my name is Madison Timmons. I'm Chris Susie. And stay spooky, y'all. <laughs>